Hello Scouts, it's Mr. Kugler, and we're going to make a really tasty treat that's made with some store-bought pizza dough and some cold cuts from the deli counter. And uh, one of the common themes for the dish today, i got to call it stromboli. I'm not Italian. I don't know if I'm breaking some, uh, some uh, rules here, but uh, that's what I've always called it. And it has three different kinds of meats, including some pepperoni and some salami and some deli ham all straight from the deli counter and some mozzarella cheese in there as well and the store-bought uh, pizza dough I'm going to be using just about 14 ounces of it you could use a pound and I'm going to be baking it in a Dutch oven uh, to get started I've got my uh, dough sectioned out portioned out and I floured my my cutting board here that I'm going to use to prep it and I've gone and added a little flour to my hands just so my hands don't stick to the dough and what I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to try to roll this out evenly and I'm going to fold it in half this is you know there really isn't a lot to this uh, and you don't have to get all that fancy with it what we're trying to do is have a nice bread type I'm not going to go overly thin a nice bread uh, finish on the outside and uh, some nice gooey cheese and heated meat in the inside so I'd say I probably have that so it's almost a foot in diameter there and I'm just going to lay out start with some of the salami Put a layer of that there. A little ham. Now you can mix it up. I've done this with roast beef from the deli. I'm going to try to keep, should be keeping a little bit away from my edge here because I'm going to have to connect this dough. So let me just pull that away a little bit. I realized that I got ahead of myself. Because what we're going to try to do is make a big pocket out of all this. So I've got two layers of ham there. And I think what I'm going to do now is add some cheese. And then I'll add some more meat on top of it. Notice I'm putting it on one side of this. I'm not doing both sides. Because I'm going to fold this other part over on top of this. So I'd say that it's about a good half probably a cup of cheese grated cheese there or shredded cheese I should say and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the pepperoni or actually let's go with the ham so it'll be symmetrical with the other side put two slices of ham and now I'm going to go with the pepperoni and remember I'm keeping away from that edge So now I've got all my meat laid out there nicely so that it's away from the edges. I can even pull a little bit if I'm worried about it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to fold this over. And just with my fingers, I'm going to pinch, I'm going to pinch the edge here. Because I want to try to seal this for a couple reasons. I, want to, I don't want it oozing out into my Dutch oven. I have actually, I'll show you in a second, already given up and figure that some of this is going to come out. I'm rolling it over a little bit, just giving it a nice little hem there. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to switch over to our Dutch oven. Uh, we'll, Dutch oven was just used, so it's nice and hot, but we'll go load it up with some new coals and we'll put our what I call stromboli in the Dutch oven. So Scouts, I want to bake this at about 350, 325. And the method I use for heating a Dutch oven is called the ring method. I'm going to put a full ring of full coals around the perimeter of the top. And I'm going to put a similar size one just in from the bottom edge of the Dutch oven. 
Now the Dutch oven is slanted, so the bottom diameter is smaller than the top diameter. And that gives us kind of like that ratio of the normal ratio that you hear if it's a 12 inch Dutch oven, take the diameter 12, add two, put 14 coals on the top. Take the diameter of 12, subtract two, and put 10 coals on the bottom. It enables you to do that without counting, and that could really be helpful if you have more than one Dutch oven going on. So let me get this loaded up, uh, get our almost warm Dutch oven. It was just used a short while ago, so it won't take us long to preheat it, and we'll get this going with some coals. Using the ring method is also helpful when you are using coals that have burned down a little bit. Like my chimney's been going for a while because I've been cooking a number of things today. So I don't have full-size coals necessarily uh, right now, but I can look by volume. And that's helpful to me as the coals burn down to be able to keep an even temperature. So I've got my bottom heat here. I've got my top heat where I want it to be. And I'm going to take now Use my MAR lid lifter, which clamps down. It has this part that clamps down on the lid so I can lift it up. I'm going to put it on my lid stand or trivet. And now you'll notice I've got a piece of foil in here. Now certainly I could cook right in the bottom of this Dutch oven, but remember I mentioned I'm thinking that that thing is going to leak out. This will help with the cleanup a little bit. But I want it to be able to separate from the foil when I'm done baking. So I'm going to go get Get a little spray oil here and just give it a nice coating of that. I've got my stromboli. <laughs> it's barely going to fit, but this baby's going to be delicious. I'm going to center it right in there. Oh, this looks amazing. Um, and we'll get this on some heat and we'll see how long it takes to bake. It'll all depend on weather conditions and how preheated my oven is and how attentive I am to the coals. Uh, but I'll certainly let you know uh, once I uh, complete it and show you the finished product, I'll let you know. When you put your Dutch oven lid on, it's also important to give it a little spin to make sure it's seated well. And that way you'll be assured that the heat that's generating on the inside is not sneaking out around the edge of the lid and adversely affecting your bake time. Every five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna come over. I'm gonna not lift up on my lid, but keep some pressure down on it. And I'm gonna give it one third of a turn one direction. I went clockwise that time. I'm going to go counterclockwise by picking up on my bale with my lid lifter and giving it a little twist and dropping it down again. That'll help even out any hot spots that may be created by a charcoal briquette or so that's maybe it's a little heavier concentration of heat. And that'll help assure me that I'll get a nice evenly baked stromboli. So I'm Approaching about the 45 minute mark. I've been spinning this every five to ten minutes like I did in that one Shot there and uh, I've been adding I added some extra heat on the top here towards the end uh, To just kind of crisp it up a little bit more than it was doing and I've been watching it adding heat as I needed it um, Kind of hard telling what the bottom looks like. So that'll be a surprise. So let's uh, go in and bring this out Ah, this looks amazing. Now, 
I mentioned that I had the foil in there to try to keep it clean in the inside of the Dutch oven, but there's one other trick that really helps with the, uh, with the foil, and that is to get this out of the Dutch oven. A little ash there, we'll just brush that off, but look at that beautiful stromboli, or at least what I call stromboli. I don't know if you could hear that. That's nice and crunchy. The inside of my Dutch oven is perfectly clean, and I've got a delicious meal here filled with the salami, the pepperoni, and the uh, mozzarella cheese, a little uh, deli ham, and this will feed two, three people easily. Uh, you can have two Dutch ovens going and get a couple of these going at one time, or depending on the size of your patrol and your appetite. So here's my version of a stromboli filled with Italian deli meats, my Italian combo, baked in a Dutch oven, a 12 inch regular Dutch oven lined with foil for 45 minutes and some store-bought pizza dough that I actually let proof and sit for about four or five hours so that it would relax. Uh, and this is gonna make a delicious meal. So get out there, have some fun, expand your cooking methods and the different things that you cook when you go out and have fun with your patrol and your troop cooking and enjoying time around the campfire.